Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a fantastic day so far. In today's video I'm going to be testing a load of new bits from Primark Beauty. So we've got a few bits from like the PS range. Not a complete full face. I already have my foundation and my brows on but pretty much everything else I've got from Primark. So we're going to be getting into all of that if you like these review videos of new makeup that has been coming out that's affordable and cruelty free I would love it if you'd subscribe down below I post at least three times a week but usually four and it's always affordable and cruelty free so I'd love it if you join our little corner of the internet but let's just start I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start at the end because my lips are so dry I need to get this on immediately. This is the PS Tinted Lip Oil and this cost me £3. I do feel like a lot of the things that Primark are coming out with at the minute are very inspired by Charlotte Tilbury. Like we've got a few bits here that are very very much inspired by that. So this is in the shade Berry Brown. Oh my I don't think I realised that that was the shade that I got, but <laughs> it does actually look okay. It just looks sort of like a nude. So, oh, it's got that sort of vanilla-y scent that I'm not the biggest fan of, but that feels really, really nice and hydrating. It's giving a nice little wash of colour, not too much, and it's not too glossy. It almost feels sort of somewhere in between like a satin lipstick and a lip gloss but really nice and hydrating i like that if that didn't have the scent i would really really enjoy that then i recently i didn't get this in this haul but i tried this out recently or i i tried to try it out recently in a full face of new makeup this is the ps my perfect color illuminate under eye concealer and i couldn't get into the packaging because in my defense i thought the packaging was going to be like this i thought that this sponge on the top was going to be like this one that's on the physician's formula concealer but the physician's formula you open it up and it's got a wand so i was desperately trying to get into this packaging thinking that it would have a wand inside and then you just use the sponge to blend it out you twist it the other way and the concealer comes up inside of the sponge or it should this is when <laughs> i now try and twist this up to get the product to come out the top and nothing comes out oh no it's happening it's happening so that colour does look potentially a little bit dark. I did think that this might be a little bit dark, but I'll just blend it out and hope for the bit best. This is the shade Nougat. Nougat. I don't, I don't know how you say that. I'm not good with words. And that's what the colour looks like on the sponge. So it could potentially be a little bit dark, but... I'll just put a little bit on oh no I actually think that color will be okay I do like a really bright under eye so <laughs> let's dab a little bit of that on and then I will just use my same sponge that I just used for my foundation the foundation that I used was the my favorite one the XX revolution Ooh, skin Blur Soft Focus Skin Tint. I really should know the name considering I use that every single day. But let's see how this blends out. I'm not actually expecting like an incredible amount of coverage because it says that it's like illuminating. I do just want something to sort of brighten and highlight around the eyes. So let's see how this blends in. Yeah, that looks really nice. It's really nice and glowy. Like, it's very glowy. But I don't mind. I think that that looks really, really nice. And that colour isn't actually too dark for me, considering I was absolutely terrified. So, for bronzer, I this is one that I got last year, but when I was in 
last week two weeks ago as you're seeing this they do still do these this is the ps pro cream contour buildable coverage so this is the color down here i do believe that this is just light i think it came in a couple of different shades oh i haven't used this for a while and that has exploded absolutely everywhere oh good for me so i need my can you tell it's i feel like whenever i film and it's the evening and it's the end of a work day i feel like you can tell because my mind is like duh, 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 duh. that is what it's like in my brain all of the time so i'm going to take a little bit of this i i like this it's very pigmented and it's quite cool toned so just gonna do that much and blend it out with a real techniques expert face brush and like just look you'll be able to see here how much color i get just from that one dot that i put on there like i didn't even squeeze any more product up obviously there was a lot on the sponge because it's exploded but Look, she's got a cheekbone again and these are really nice and creamy really nice and like liquidy and blendable I do like them they're just a lot of like color <laughs> you really need to like spend a little minute blending them out I will also bounce over this with my foundation sponge to dial down the colour a little bit because even though I just used like one little dot it's still a lot I do like the colour <laughs> it's just a lot of colour so just bouncing over with that sponge dialing down the um, bronziness a little bit and I feel like that looks really nice like it's given me the shape back in my cheekbones but also it's given me just a little bit of colour back into my skin so I have a new blush wand I got one of these last year and I really really liked it this is the matte cream blush matte finish pink is what it says on it um so this was four pounds fifty that is what it looks like like i say i got one of these last year i i think it was a more luminous one but i just i got sucked in by the newness i can't help it so again it's got a little locking mechanism on it and let's see what this color looks like Ooh, that's like peachier than i was expecting it to be i really really like the look of that color though so let's dab a little bit on i don't know how pigmented this is going to be but we can we can blend <laughs> that's what we're good at here so i'll dab that much on and i'll use another real techniques expert face brush to tap this in i really like that color so even though that's a matte finish, like it says that it's matte, you can still see like the luminosity coming through from underneath it. And I absolutely love that colour. I feel like that colour is just so like bright and fresh for spring. I really, really enjoy that. And I think they had a few different shades i obviously just picked up one of them because i've only got one face but i'm thrilled with how these products are working so far big big fan so i got i got a setting spray i mean i'll try it but i don't i don't feel like i need it like it's half past eight in the evening and i'm going to bed once I finish this but I'll try it anyway so this is the PS prep and perfect refreshing setting spray it says with aloe vera niacinamide and pro vitamin b 
five and this was five pounds so I think this was the most expensive thing that I bought and why do they make it so hard to find the little perforated bit to actually get into the product so I will just give this a little shake before I try it I don't know if you have to but I will anyway and I do like that the lid has a little lock thing on it so you can't accidentally spray it if you're like taking it with you oh it does smell like aloe vera that's not my most favorite scent but let's just spray this and see how we go oh that is a very very aggressive spray oh i'm actually soaking wet now jolly jolly good <laughs> it's nice and yeah refreshing because i'm just soaked in water now i think on a hot day that would be lovely is it something that i am going to use regularly no probably not i am just going to put a little bit of powder on because i'm feeling quite shiny where I put that concealer and that concealer is creasing like mad under my eyes. Creasing is to be expected, your face is moving so of course your products are going to crease but that was creasing more than other products do. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my 17 Ultimate Look Finishing Powder on a little triangle puffy puff and set under my eyes and I might just do a little bit like on my forehead as well much better so I still feel like you can see the glow coming through even that matte blush but just setting basically where I put that concealer has made that look a lot better I'm not sure about that setting spray though that was aggressive so next up is a cream eyeshadow now i got one of these last year and i loved it so i was very excited to see this one in a slightly different color this is the ps shimmer cream eyeshadow and this was three pounds so if i just get into this then i can show you this color because it's incredible so this is what the packaging looks like on the outside and then the colour inside. If you have blue eyes, this colour is going to look incredible. So I'm going to take a dense brush. This is so creamy. Can you even see? Like, I've got so much product on there. Right, work that into <laughs> the brush. So I'll just press all of that product like properly into the bristles of this brush. This brush is also from Primark, but I haven't been able to find it. I've wanted to get a replacement for this one because I love it for cream eyeshadows, but I haven't been able to find it for years. I'll just see how this looks with like the one layer, but I might build it up. I might add a second coat to like really intensify that color they just think there's something so beautiful about a warm sort of burnt orange eye on blue eyes i just think it's beautiful so i do want to see like how this is going to like build up and also blend out okay so that's how that's looking just with one layer i really like the amount of color and also the amount of shimmer like it's soft it's subtle i feel like a lot of people could wear this just for an everyday i however i'm going to see how well this will build up because i'm trying to push myself into wearing a little bit more color and i think something like an orange is like a color that i already feel quite comfortable in so i'm going to see if i can build this up 
at all, like a little bit further down onto the lid. Yeah, so I'm able to build that up a little bit. It's like intensifying the shimmer rather than the colour. I feel like the colour looks pretty much the same, but the shimmer looks so nice and reflective. Like it's got that warmth, obviously because it's orange, but you know what I mean. It's such a beautiful sort of, I feel like quite easy way to add a bit of colour. I feel like orange is just a really wearable colour for a lot of skin tones, eye colour, hair colour, all of that good stuff. So as long as this doesn't crease too badly, which I don't feel like it will, like it feels as though it's setting down. Not that I can feel it, but do you know what I mean? Like it feels like it's not sticky on my eyes. I really, really like how that's turned out. So next up is a mascara. Now granted, I probably would normally wear sort of a wing or something with this, but I didn't get one. So I'm just gonna go straight into mascara and this one looks beautiful. This is the PS Sweet Lashes Smudge Free, Clump Free, Lift and Lengthens Instant Volume Unique Soft Brush. So that is what the packaging looks like. It's a really beautiful tube, obviously inspired by Miss Charlotte Tilbury. And this one cost me £3.50. So again, absolute bargain. I do actually have a Primark mascara in my project pan. At the minute, I really rate Primark mascaras or I should say the one that I've tried <laughs> I really really like so I've got high hopes so the wand is just like a regular mascara wand like that doesn't look like anything groundbreaking I will say it looks like it's got fibers in it so this might thicken which is my favourite kind of mascara. So let's see what we can get with this. I will also say it looks quite dry, you know, like when you've had a mascara open for a couple of weeks and it gets better because it's sort of dried out and thickened up a little bit. I feel like this looks like it's already at that stage. So let's see how well this will build up. Okay, so this is one coat of the mascara and I was underwhelmed and then I put that second coat on and like, yeah, it's fine. Like, it's not really giving me any sort of length. It's not really giving me an incredible amount of volume. I definitely need the two layers <laughs> if you want something that's quite natural and quite easy to build up, then this is fine. It's not my favourite mascara from Primark. It's not my favourite mascara from, you know, that sort of price range. It's fine. It's very easy to apply. The brush is grabbing onto the lashes very, very nicely. It's just not giving me a great deal of anything. It's, it's not bad, though. If it lasts well, then this will absolutely get used up. Like I say, I can't do that today <laughs> because it is my bedtime, but I will report back on this one and also on that eyeshadow to see how they actually last throughout the day. Okay, so that's the eyes like evened out. I like the way that it's ended up, but it's not my favorite by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just going to finish off the lips. I will say that um, lip oil has been sat on my lips for about half an hour and it's still really, really nice and like slippy and hydrating on the lips. Like I can still very much feel it and still very much see it. I really, really like that. So I've just got a lip liner, which again, I'm going to struggle to get into, but this cost me one pound one pound and this is in the shade foxy nude <laughs> which 
which I just find hilarious. Okay, so I've given up trying to take the plastic off this pencil, but that colour looks really, really nice. And let's just see. Oh, that is very creamy. Very, very creamy. And that colour looks great. So I'll try and put it on over the top of this lip oil. That might be a mistake. Okay, so that lip pencil has definitely drawn on more sort of warm brownie nude than I was maybe expecting it to be. That's not necessarily the sort of shade that I would wear just on an everyday basis, but for a pound, yeah, it's absolutely fine. Like, there's nothing bad about that I will just put a little bit more of that lip oil on because I really enjoyed that and I do feel like if I don't actually like breathe in or breathe in through my nose whilst I'm applying that I can't smell it once it's on so I don't <laughs> I can get over the scent of it because it doesn't like stick around but that is everything so what are the wins from the day the lip oil really really like that will absolutely continue to wear that when i want that sort of cushiony wash of color i really really like that the bronzer i already knew i liked but that blush was also a big win despite the fact it says that it's matte which i definitely didn't read or i wouldn't have bought it <laughs> despite it saying that it's matte I still think that that looks really nice and glowy, so I like that a lot. I'm not sold on the spray. I will have to keep using that and report back. I just don't... It's a very aggressive spray and it smells quite strongly of aloe vera. So if you don't mind aloe vera, it's probably okay. I obviously can't tell you how it's going to affect the wear of my makeup today but it's it's not the worst one not the worst setting spray that I've tried I really like the concealer what was it under eye concealer however obviously I've only used this the once and I'm already down to here just to get the product out like I had to twist it a lot so there's not going to be a ton of products in there but obviously it's very very affordable the cream eyeshadow is beautiful i really really like that obviously i already i already had one so i knew i would like it but i just think that that color on blue eyes is perfection the mascara again i'm not completely sold on the one that i like from Primark is this one that I have in my project pants so there's like not a lot of product left in this now it's the PS Wonder Lash length definition and lift this is what the packaging looks like I prefer this one if you're in Primark and you're wanting to treat yourself to a new mascara this one is better than this one in my humble opinion and the lip liner is absolutely fine it's not my perfect undertone it's absolutely wearable though I would be tempted by perhaps a slightly more pink shade I think that's where my preference is for a lip liner I like something that's a little bit more of a pinky nude rather than this which feels quite warm I definitely like something that's a little bit more pink leaning but I do believe that that was everything that we tested out today. If there's any other products from Primark Beauty that you think I need to try out, then do let me know. I'm always happy to pick up a few more products and test them out for you here. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. But until next time, thank you ever so much for watching. Bye. Hey.